Please give me your definition of a hedge fund, a short explanation on short selling, and a bit of detail on how alternative strategies capture the alpha. Okay, so, so hedge fund definitions in themselves are very wide. Uh, if you went offshore, you'd find a hedge fund can trade in almost anything. Because it's unregulated, the word hedge fund often scares many investors. In the South African context, hedge funds have become regulated. So they now are regulated just like collective investment schemes or unit trusts. So the definition of a hedge fund in South Africa is a lot more closely or with, with much stronger and stringent barriers than it would be offshore. Hedge funds in South Africa are effectively just extensions of what you do in unit trusts, but can do other types of investments. So if I compared the two, in a unit trust you'd have a long only uh, fund which effectively just buys various shares that it likes. In a hedge fund you do exactly the same, you'd buy exactly the same shares, or in our case we buy the same shares in the hedge fund, but then we also find shares or equities where we do not like the investment case and we decide to rather borrow those shares, which is in fact the short selling question, so you borrow those shares from somebody who owns them and then we effectively sell those shares in the market. So we'll have a portfolio of short shares, which are shares we've sold that we don't actually own, which at some stage later in, the, in, the, in time, we have to buy those shares back to deliver them back to the rightful owners. But in the meantime, those short shares are effectively acting as a buffer against your set of long shares. So your set of long shares have got a lot of market risk, so if the share portfolio, if the share market had to fall down, let's say five or 10%, you would expect more or less your long portfolio to also retrace 5 or 10%. But at the same time, you've gone short a basket of shares, which in fact you will make money from if they were to fall further, as you never owned them. You just sold them without owning them. That would offset a lot of the market risk of your long only portfolio. Uh, so effectively, that, that, that is effectively what is known as short selling. Over and above that, in our type of strategy, uh, we look at measuring exactly what the long only portfolio versus the short only or short portfolio delivers from a market related risk perspective. So let's say in a normal normal course of a year, the stock market had to fall 10%. We would measure what all those shares that we own would in fact do in a 10% type movement. And let's say they did lose 10%. We would then want compensating short shares that would hopefully deliver us close to 10%, either with the individual shares or with various derivative option structures that we may put in place to ensure that we can protect this long only portfolio for bad market times. So that's really how the hedge fund works. The, the short selling is actually very simple. It is, uh, is if you are selling shares that you did own. So it's not a very complicated procedure. It's all electronically done. So today it's actually the same as you know selling the shares that you own or selling the shares that you don't own, the process is actually very much the same.